It is a national trend, but one we're seeing locally too. The number of calls about child sex abuse cases into the McMahon Ryan Child Advocacy Center has gone down. But as News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc explains, it's likely not the result of a decrease in abuse, just the reporting of it due to COVID-19. You know, not having that outlet at all, it's, it's a scary thing. This time last year, from March 16th to April 10th, Child Protective Services got 496 phone calls. This year, that number has decreased by just over 60% to only 197 calls. And those at the McMahon Ryan Child Advocacy Center say it's not because abuse isn't happening. And that's because, you know, most kids will report to a teacher, a caregiver, uh, a bus driver, and they're not getting out and about, so we're not getting as many calls. Merced says she's seen this happen before. While the kids are away for summer vacation, the calls to the center decrease by a lot. But then she says when they come back in the fall, that number doubles or triples. Sometimes it takes children a while to process. Um, maybe they don't understand what's happening to them is wrong. Uh, maybe they've never had these conversations before. Maybe they've been threatened or threatened or sworn to secrecy. Derek Teft is an outreach and education specialist for the center. Before the pandemic, he would visit schools daily, teaching kids how to get help. But now they're worried children are quarantined with their abusers because 90% of the time, Teft says the abuser is someone they know, love or trust, like an immediate family member. So you don't ever want to put them in jeopardy. Um, and that's why we always tell them to find a safe adult to talk to. Um, and sometimes that safe adult can be, you know, a mailman or can be um, a neighbor, um, someone they might see if they're outside playing. The center is working on other ways to get through to the kids on social media and getting involved in their online learning programs, something they want to resolve sooner rather than later. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Merced says there has also been an increase in human trafficking since the pandemic began. She says more kids are spending time online, making them vulnerable targets. If someone you know is in immediate danger, you need to call 911.